and welcome to another video. Today I have a homeware haul for you because I've kind of accumulated quite a bit of homeware over the last couple of weeks. So naturally I thought it would be a good idea to sit down and show you what I have bought recently. What I've so kindly been sent um, recently from a couple of brands and kind of just, yeah, show you the new home bits that I have introduced into my life recently. Um, I'm really happy with a lot of them. First thing I want to show you guys, and I'm like obsessed with these, I just think like a lot of the time at more affordable homey places, like they have the cool bits that are on trend, but they don't, they aren't always like amazing quality. Um, but these I thought were amazing. So these are little baskets, um, from Kmart, like kind of like wicker baskets and they come in a few sizes. So this is the smaller one. Um, I bought two of these. Um, they're so cute, but I bought them for underneath both mine and Liam's, um, bedside table just to put like all of our little bits in there. I just throw in like cords, chargers. Um, I put my lighter in there that I, <laughs> that I light all my candles with. Um, and it's just really handy. It's just a nice way to like store ugly things that you kind of need on your bedside table. We haven't got drawers, so, um, yeah. These are just like a handy way to put all of those little bits and bobs um, on each side of um, our bed. And then I've also got a bigger one which is kind of like pretty much our laundry basket at the moment. It'd be really nice if they did an even bigger size. Um, but these are just so handy. And these are so affordable. Like even in Bali I saw these over in Kimsu and they were still like at least 50 New Zealand dollars. So to get something like this for like $14 they even look cute in like a living room with like a throw. Um, thrown, thrown over the top of them. Um, and yeah, I just think that they're just very on trend at the moment. They just make your home really like cozy and cool. And obviously like really handy just to throw like this, we just put our dirty laundry in. Um, and yeah, it's got little handles, which is also great for a laundry basket. And yeah, I'm really, really chuffed with these. Um, I just think the baby one, the little one is so cute. Um, I'm definitely probably gonna end up buying more. Um, just because, like I said, they are just so handy. The next thing I got from Kmart, which I love, um, is this little coaster. It reminds me of those little fizzy lollies. Do you guys remember those little, like, fizzy lollies that were, like, this big? Um, and they came in all different colours, and the pink one looks exactly like this. Um, <laughs> so I think it's really cute, but it is that kind of, like, marble effect, um, which is nice. And it comes in a pack of four for, like, six bucks. Yeah, it was, like, a pack of four for, like, six dollars fifty or something crazy like that. Um, and they're just so nice they just look really like chic and modern so great that they come in pack of four because I put one on my bedside table Liam's bedside table um, on my work desk and then I gave one to mum <laughs> which she loves and they're just nice and sturdy and they're really easy to clean and yeah I'm just I'm really really happy with these and like I said six dollars for four of them is just like it's crazy I actually couldn't believe my eyes because they're quite heavy like something like this at like sitter could sell for like a lot so yeah really chuffed with that purchase. My next little Kmart find is this. Um, it's kind of like a storage unit. Um, it's wooden, but I actually use this to put like my everyday makeup in. I have acrylic drawers for like my entire makeup collection, which obviously I don't use all of those products every day. Um, and I was getting kind of like, I don't know, my everyday makeup is still really pretty, so I don't want to just put them, like throw them into a like a makeup bag. Um, I like to have them on display in my room. I'm just, I'm just a bit weird like that. Um, but I found this and I thought it was really, really handy. So it's got like the compartments in the front. It's got this bit, it's got this bit and this bit. Um, it actually opens up like this. I thought like initially I thought it would be really good for jewellery because you can put like jewellery that you're not using in the bottom bit and then like close it up and then have the, your like everyday jewellery sitting in here. Um, but then I realised it would actually be really good for makeup. I'll insert some clips to show you guys like how I have my makeup sitting in this but I kind of just have it sitting um, like this. It actually surprisingly balances really really well. Um, and as you can see, so I pop like my favourite lipsticks in this bit. Um, over here I put like my concealers in and then in this big bit just because they're just easy to reach I have like all of my primers, foundations um, and setting sprays and then in the bottom I put in my like powder products um, that are in like big pans and a couple of eyeshadow palettes in here I put some small eyeshadow palettes and then over here I have my like brow products so eyebrow pencils, um, eyebrow mascaras and then all of my actual mascaras as well. So yeah it's been really handy, it's really sturdy and I just think it looks really cute but of course like, you can put makeup in here um, as long as they're not like tall things like mascaras um, and then close it like that. 
so that you're just storing it nicely away and then just have your like everyday bits at the top but um yeah I think this was like $12 or $15 I'll link everything below from the website if I can find them but I just have this next to my mirror um and I just love it I just think it's cute and if I don't want to use it for makeup you can always use it for other things like I said jewelry accessories like whatever you want to use it for um but yeah I really love it it's just so handy so the last thing I got from Kmart recently um I can't really hold it up in the video so I'm just going to insert some clips so you can see it's like a gigantic circular rug um and I'm so obsessed with it I'm so obsessed with this kind of interior style it's very like Bali Byron Bay very summery bohemian style furniture and the rug was like 49 no sorry it was 39 dollars I just couldn't believe it I was like damn like Kmart is seriously nailing it at the moment we haven't got the prettiest carpet so it's quite nice just to like have it in my room just to make everything look a little bit cooler but I just thought for 39 dollars that's amazing and it's it's actually huge um and I just love the style I love the color um, I love it circular. I just think it looks really cute and I'm really happy with it, especially for $39 Like you, you really cannot go wrong. So the next thing I want to show you guys It's not really like homeware, but it still falls into the category um, of home like home stuff um, It's a candle from Jo Malone London. It is their Blackberry and Bay scented candle and I've loved Oh, I've loved the scent for so long, like the actual cologne. So when they came up with the candle, um, especially in the Poppy Delavine um, Queen of Pop collection packaging, I was so excited. Um, and they sent it out to me and I'm just, oh, I'm so obsessed with it. It's such a beautiful, fresh fragrance. Like it's really nice just to burn in winter. I actually haven't burnt it yet because I don't want to waste it. I just sit there and smell it. <laughs> but it's like, it's like blackberries, but you can really smell the beautiful like blackberry garden like the greenery um that blackberries that like, grow on like the blackberry vine i guess um it just it smells absolutely divine so luxurious it's definitely one of those luxurious um treat yourself items but if you really want to pick one of these up i think they're available i think they're definitely limited edition so they won't be around for too long but they're from smith and coe's and the germline london and britomart in the collection they've done a few other candle scents and then they've also got some fragrances and a bubble bath which is amazing i have the nectarine and honey blossom um bubble bath which i used last night and it is divine but i just love germline london i just think it's really nice to like Spend a little bit more on the things that just make your home feel nice and cozy. Fragrances and candles and even like bubble baths and oils I just love to like spend a little bit more on because they're those things that you turn to if you're having a really crappy day those are the little things that you turn to that just really brighten your day so I think it's nice to like treat yourself when it comes to these items um, especially candles. I don't want to burn it because I don't want to waste it because I love it so much. So I'm probably just going to keep sniffing it. Oh, it's so beautiful. Next up, I have a whole bunch of bits to show you guys from Farmers who kindly sent me out like a massive box of amazing homewares. I'm so grateful um, and I love them. So the first thing, these are all from Farmers, um, is this cushion and I love it so much. It's kind of like an Aztec pattern and I love the like tassels that are on the corners. It's so cute. It's just like a really nice cushion to have either in the lounge like on your couch or even just like as a finishing touch on your bed. Cushions like this just really make your bed look so much more like exciting. I don't know. We just have a plain white um, Penny and Bennett Duba cover on at the moment. So all the cushions I can pop on to make um, the bed just look a little bit more interesting um, is really fun for me. So I love this. All of these things like I said I will um, link below but yeah especially the tassels. The tassels just get me. I just think they're so cute. It's just it's really well made all of their homewares are just so so well made such amazing quality and yeah I'm just I'm, I'm loving everything they're bringing out at the moment so I will continue to show you what I've got I have this throw and I'm just always obsessed with throws I love having throws everywhere I love having them in the lounge I love having them off the bed I love having them on the back of um, like my desk chair <laughs> I love having them like in baskets in the corner on the floor I just love throws such a thing for throws um, but this one is really really nice especially for winter I feel like it's just really really cool for winter so it's kind of got this like textured line going through it um it's like a cream and black diamante pattern um and it's a really nice size it's kind of like I would say it's a medium size throw um so it's even quite nice just to have on the end of the bed when you're a little bit colder at night you can just like pull it over yourself but it's also just definitely like a fashionable piece like it's like a pretty throw um to have on show in your home I love how it has all of these tassels 
on the end of it as well. I just think that's really, really pretty. You can have the more um, like black and cream side showing or I find it to be quite reversible on this side. Like this is the back of it, but you could also have like this pattern display, which is more of like cream and black. So this is like black and cream. <laughs> And then this is cream and black. But yeah, it's just, it's really, again, like I said before, beautiful quality. And I love, like, the texture going through it. But, um, yeah, that's what's hanging off the end of our bed at the moment. Now, I have been wanting a wall hanger for, like, as long as I can remember. I've been, like, lusting over these. Um, I see them all the time on one set. <laughs> and I'm always so tempted to buy one just because I think they look so nice on the wall. There's something so cool about having something that's fabric or textured hanging on the wall as a piece of art um, as opposed to like a painting or like a print. This one is kind of like a medium size wall hanger. So hopefully I can like show you guys properly. It hangs like this. It's got like the string here so you can like hook it onto anything you want to. Then this is like the main part and I'll try and do like a close up so you can see but it's kind of got like these fabric bubbles here definitely very much like an Aztec sort of print and then at the bottom it's got like the tassels that hang um, and I just think this looks so cool on the wall like I said it's just like a really nice alternative to have especially I think in the bedroom just to make the bedroom a little bit cozier um, I think I'm gonna hang this up above our bed it just really adds something interesting but you could even hang this up like in the kitchen or in the lounge um, just I don't know like the style is really cool. I definitely want to get like a bigger one. I think this would be really nice to have um, above the bed, but I definitely want to get like a massive one when we end up um, moving next year. I want to get like a huge one to put in the lounge. I just think that will look so cool. Um, but I also need to get some of those hangers. Um, you know, those ones that you like put on the wall that don't damage the wall. They just kind of like, stick on the wall. Um, I need to get some of those so I can hang this baby up. Next up, I have this fabric basket, um, which is a nice alternative to the um, wicker baskets from Kmart I was showing you before. I think these would be especially nice um, if you're a mum and you hate your kids' toys being everywhere in the lounge. Um, you can just throw them in this. It's just like a really chic way to like keep toys in. But I've actually been putting my own books in here as well, like in my room. You could literally put anything in here. It's just, again, a nice way to um, store things. things that might not be so pretty in your home and you want to make them pretty by um, keeping them in something like this but yeah it's lined on the inside which is really really nice um, and again it's kind of just a similar pattern to the wall hanger it's got like the bubbles on it it's like monochrome cream and black and yeah it's just really good you could even put like magazines in here that's really handy and it's definitely like a nice medium size and you could totally get away with having a couple of these like planted around the house um you could actually probably speaking of plants um you could probably put a plant in here like you could probably put a plant pot like an indoor plant pot um in here and have this around it like these are pretty versatile if you buy one um, you could just use it for lots of different things, but um, yeah, I'm really happy with this. The next little thing I've got from Farmers is this um, tea light holder. It's got these little like raindrops on it. It's such a cute pattern. And it's got this bit at the top where you can put little tea lights in. Um, and I just think this is really nice just to have on your desk or to put in the middle of the dining table. You obviously need little um, tea lights to go in there. Um, to light but it's just really really cute. It's a nice alternative to candles You know like once a candle runs out and the packaging is beautiful you can't use it anymore So it's just nice to have like beautiful packaging and then you just keep popping little tea lights in here um, And then lighting them nice for like little romantic dinners at home or when you've got friends over for dinner Or even just for yourself like on your desk. Um, I think it's really really cute So that's that they're not really raindrops now that I look at it. They're more kind of like little seeds like strawberry seeds that sit on a strawberry or something. Um, but yeah, that's cute. Um, and then the last thing from Farmers is this cushion, which is like a gold metallic cushion. And these actually look really cute. Really did I just break my tea light holder? No, it's fine. It's fine. It just bashed up against my Kmart um, coaster, but it's fine. Don't worry, it's fine. Um, yes, so this cushion looks really nice with this. Um, we're on the bed together. Um, the gold and the black just, you know, it's nice to add a little pop of colour 
um, and a little pop of metallic. It's got these little like speckle dots all over it um, and then it's just like gold metallic. Um, but it's quite nice. I think if you don't really like colour and you like monochrome, a really nice way just to add in a little bit of contrast is just to add in like foiled gold or silver. So I think that's really nice to have as a cushion. And again, just nice to have like on the couch or on the bed, um, wherever you want to put them. But yeah, I just think they look so cute together. Such a nice contrast. Um, but yeah, love my little cushions. That is everything. In this little homeware haul. We are still living at home at the moment so I think we're looking at getting a place uh, for ourselves soon which is really exciting. So let me know if you do enjoy like homeware style videos. I'd love to do like when we do move out I'd love to show you like how I style like each room with um, new furniture and homeware and stuff. And like just in general if you enjoy homeware just let me know because it's good to know like if you guys love it. As much as I do then I can create more videos um, or like blog posts and Instagram content around it. And yeah homeware it just makes me happy you know you're getting old when you just love homeware like love homeware thank you guys all for watching and i hope you're all having an amazing week and i will see you in the next one bye